Hello and welcome to this new tutorial. This time we're going to create something like this. Let's get started. First we need to add a UV sphere. So let's hit Shift A Mesh UV sphere. Let's add some segments. I'm going to put 90 segments. Press Tab to go to Edit Mode and 2 to go to Edge Mode. Select this edge and hold down Alt and click. Press Shift G and select Direction to have everything selected like that. I'm going to deselect this one right here and the last one right there. Press Ctrl I to invert the selection and then hit X and select only edges and faces. Press tab to go back to object mode and then go to object, convert, curve from mesh and now we have a curve. Press 7 on your number pad, press tab again and then we need to select these areas right here. I'm going to start with this ones right here, this one and this one. Let's go closer. Select, I'm going to select these ones, and two for this one, four, three. Make sure you select different areas. Three, four. On the last one, just one. Press five on your number pad and make sure that everything is selected. Let's see, looks like everything is already selected, ah, right here, uh, all right, okay, now press X, segments, and you will have something like that. Press tab to go to object mode, and now let's move to the animation workspace. Select the camera, press N and move the camera to the center everything like that in X I'm going to put 90 degrees and again and move it in Y axis like that press 0 to check reduce the focal length to 35 okay now we have the camera select the sphere again go to object data geometry in here we need to go to extrude and hit 0 0.03 reduce this area like this as you can see we have two that are in different positions we just need to fix this one by going to edit mode select this one and this one right click switch direction go back to object mode and we have everything in the same position let's start with the animation we need to put the bevel start and end to zero. So let's hit a keyframe right here. Move in your timeline until 75 and change this one to one and create a keyframe. Let's see what we have. Nothing happens. Let's move to 20 and then move the end position a little bit like so add a keyframe and check right now what we have right click on this area interpolation mode linear let's try it again move in your timeline like this and let's give some randomness to these areas for that we are going to move 
all these lines in different rotations. Press tab, select this area right here, and press Control L, R, C, and move this rotation like that. Leave the other one like this, and let's move all the rotations. You can move this one in any way you want. Press Control L, R, C, move it a little bit. Next one, Control L, R, C, let's put this back. Let's continue with this one right here. Control L R C. Let's move this like that. This one too. Control L R C. And do something like this one. And the last one. Control L R C. Now that we have everything, let's try and see. Alright, looks better. With this sphere selected, let's press Shift D and Escape, and we have a new copy. Move the timeline a little bit and change the offset right here. Bring negative space like that, a little bit like that. Okay, move to this bevel right here, change it like this, this, not that much, and create new keyframes for this one. Also let's make this extrude bigger, like so. Let's check with the camera. And also over there. With this one selected, let's try to rotate this one a little bit. R, see. Try it again. For the second one, I'm going to move this until right here. This one a little bit like that. And this one over here. Let's try the animation again. Alright. Select the first one. Press Shift D, Escape to have a new one. And now let's move this until the end. This one close to the middle. This one like this. Let's extrude a little bit smaller than that. And also select that one and press R, C, and rotate that one like that like this let's try a little bit more rotation for that one just let me move it like so okay let's see okay Select the first one, and we're going to rotate this one a little bit. Press R and Y. Move it like that. The second one too, R, Y. Not that much. And the last one in the different direction. Like this. Okay. Let's try and see. All right. Select the first one and move your timeline like so. And let's go back to the layout and turn off the second and third. With this one selected, we're going to create a new path. Press Shift A, Curve, Path. 
I'm going to move this one up. Uh, let me take two of this and delete purchases. Okay, select the first one, go to object data, geometry, taper object. In this area, we are going to put the nerve path. Select the nerve. Tap to go to edit mode and let's change some settings. Move this one in Y. We will have something like that. Okay, let's move this one too. G Y. And this one in the other direction. Like that. And this a little bit more. Like so. Okay. Uh, probably a little bit bigger. All right. Let's check the animation again. Turn everything on. And let's see again. Now you need to add your logo to this area. This time I'm going to use a cube just for demonstration. So let me add the cube. Make sure your logo is inside this sphere. Like so. Let's go to Object, Rotation, add a keyframe right here, move all the way to 100, and change the rotation to 360, and add another keyframe. Right click here, Interpolation, Linear. Let's check this one. In 100 selected, add some keyframes to X and Y rotation. Move back to 20 and try to change the rotation in Y direction. Like so. A little bit like that add some keyframes right here okay and let's check all right go back to one scale change this to zero add a keyframe move this to 30, 35, change the scale to 1, and add another keyframe. We are almost done. Let's continue with this. Let's go back to Layout, and in here we are going to create some circles. Rotate this one in X, 90 degrees. Change the vertices to 5 and move in Y, like that. Let's add a new one, circle, change this one to 10, rotation 90 degrees, and move in Y, like this. And the last one, circle, rotation to 90, vertices to 35. Move in Y, like that. Let's go back to animation. Select the first one and let's move to around 50. Turn off these two. And add a keyframe to the scale. We're going to change these ones to zero. Keyframe. Move all the way to 70. And add a keyframe in this area, add a keyframe, move back to 60, turn on the second one, select it, 
and add a keyframe to zero right here. Move all the way to 80 and change the scale like that and keyframe. Go back to 70. Turn on the last one. Change the scale to zero. And add a keyframe for that. Let's move all the way to 90. And change the scale all the way up. Like that. And add the last keyframes. Let's see what we have. Okay, select your logo, go to modifier, wave. Let's check this wave. Okay, let's change the speed around 12 and the height around 0.59. Try it again. Okay, let's now change the life until 100 and check again. Basically, we now have all the animation that we need. So the next step is to put some textures. For the end video, I used just some flat textures. Let's check it. I'm going to move my timeline right around here let's go to shading select your logo period and let's add some textures okay for the first circle i'm going to use some flat white so let's add a new material a mission all the way up to white i'm also using eevee for this one it's faster and it's good for this kind of things let's change to eevee and we have the flat color for the second one i'm going to use a yellow go up go like that and the last one it will be gray so let me check like this it's okay let's add more material to these other areas your logo you need to add your logo colors the ones that you like it that's up to you the first sphere i'm going to use a dark blue for the second one, a light blue, like this one, and the last one will be um, something close to green, not that much, and let's see, space bar, and that's it. Okay, we have everything ready for the render. To render this one, I'm going to use Eevee. For the render sampling, you could use something like 128. Let's go to output. Make sure you are in 100% resolution. And also, I just need 120 frames. Let's go to the output area and select the place to put everything over there. I highly recommend you to use an image sequence. I most of the time use OpenEXR and 16. And now let's hit render. Go to render, render animation. Now that you have your render ready, we just need to go to the video editing. 
let's hit this plus symbol right here video editing now let's add the image sequence right here let's go to add image sequence find your renders and select all the render that you have once you select everything you need to put the start frame which is one and the end frame which is 120 and hit add image now we have everything right here so now we need to render this in a video so let's go to the render output and change it to FFMPG video once you have everything done you need to go to render animation and that's it I hope you find this tutorial useful. Bye.